displays. Take off. Once the F-35 is airborne, the autopilot is engaged, significantly reducing the pilot's workload. Voice recognition, displays, tactical, touchscreen technology, and cursor hooking are each available to accomplish the F-35's mission. Place, ASR-1, 1. In this simulation, the pilot brings the aircraft to an altitude of 15,000 feet. When the altitude and a speed of 350 knots are attained, route hold is programmed into the autopilot. The route is depicted on the Tactical Situation Display, or TSD. F-35 displays are contiguous and multifunctional. A 20 by 8 inch screen can be divided into a series of windows called portals. The cursor can be used to display the portals in single or multiple configurations of one through four with up to eight secondary windows below. The top one inch of the display is reserved for subsystem information. Data with low mission priority, such as information concerning normal engine function, fuel and hydraulic status, are represented by small icons. These icons can be quickly switched to standard engine instrumentation with a touch of a finger, or by voice. Place, fuel, two. Or by cursor hooking for detailed status of any particular subsystem. The store's management system in this simulated mission indicates that the F-35 is armed with two internal medium-range air-to-air missiles and two cluster munitions. In this representation, portal number three is the tactical situation display. It can be expanded to reveal a larger view of the battle space, including the three wingmen comprising the rest of the four-ship mission. Multiple in-flight data links between the four aircraft can send and receive information via satellite, RF link, and other airborne assets during the mission. Using offboard data links, the F-35 pilot is queued to a column of tanks, the intended target for this mission. The portals can be used to show images from two different vantage points, allowing more precise targeting. In addition, the display can also zoom in on the target area and declutter the image to clarify the tactical situation even further. The triangles, for instance, represent ground threats. The blue airplane-shaped icons are the primary F-35s. Also indicated in green are the two pre-sweep F-35s ready to engage the enemy and clear the attack path. By zooming in, the display shows that the pre-sweep F-35s have detected enemy aircraft represented by red icons. Lines from the F-35s to the red icons indicate missiles in flight, and each line shows the time of flight for the missiles in seconds. The air interdiction F-35 pilot can place the MiG-29s into its own air-to-air -air shoot list and call up a distributed aperture image of the air battle in progress. In this example, the distributed aperture system, or DAS, detects the explosions of the MiG-29s and the heat trails from their wreckage, indicating that the pre-sweep F-35s have successfully cleared the skies above the approach path to the target. The enemy aircraft can then be removed from the F-35's shoot list. In Portal 1, the pilot calls up a synthetic aperture radar, or SAR, image of the target area. The radar return, a series of bright spots, is not yet identifiable as the primary target. To produce a higher resolution image, the green patch indicated on the portal shows the ground size the pilot is requesting the radar to examine. While the radar is building the image, the pilot then expands to a big picture view on the tactical situation display. The attack route is depicted. The autopilot is turning the aircraft toward the target area. The pilot takes the F-35 up to 20,000 feet to decrease exposure to ground threats. 
the TSD, is now indicating the presence of two Su-27s, which have been scrambled and are heading toward the target area. This is confirmed by the F-35's Electronic Support Measure, or ESM, which is detecting the enemy radars. The F-35 pilot reacts by placing the two enemy aircraft on the shoot list. Since the F-35 has the capability of employing air-to-air -air and air-to-surface tactics nearly simultaneously, the appearance of the Su-27s in no way alters the original mission. The SAR image now clearly displays the column of tanks. Individual tanks and turrets are now visible. The pilot switches to assignment mode. Specific tanks are assigned to specific attack aircraft. Instead of the voice channels used in legacy aircraft, the F-35 can send images and assignments by data link. Portals in the wingman's aircraft will display cyan triangles indicating their specific targets, removing all ambiguity as to target assignment. In the lead JSF, the pilot calls up the air-to-ground munitions for employment. The targeting FLIR in Portal 2 clearly shows the wingman and lead aircraft assignments. The Su-27s can be seen nearing the target area as the autopilot flies the F-35's target approach. The missile launch envelope, or MLE, is shown on the display indicating the range for firing the medium-range missiles at the approaching enemy aircraft. The pilot launches the first and second missiles at the Su-27s. A line on the display connects the missiles to the enemy aircraft. Zooming in helps track the missile flight path toward the hostile aircraft, indicating the flight time in seconds. Explosions are indicated on the targeting FLIR and the DAS, confirming the destruction of the enemy aircraft. The pilot returns to air-to-surface mode. The munitions are ready to be dropped. Paddling off the autopilot, the F-35 pilot hand flies to the target area. The display indicates about 5.2 miles or 7 seconds from weapons release. The release envelope is displayed in the virtual HUD. 2 seconds, 1, and then release. The pilot rolls away from the target area and returns to autopilot. <laughs> 